Hey, what is up? My name is Rubidium. So much has changed in the film industry in the last couple of years. We have new lights, new lenses, new cameras, uh, new post workflows and RAW and LUTs. All this sort of stuff um, had, that had, was once really obscure has kind of gone mainstream and uh, really transformed the way we tell stories. Something that doesn't get enough attention, in my opinion, is grip and new grip technologies, how you get these wonderful new LED lights the places you want them and how much easier it is that you can manipulate lights and shade to tell the stories you want to tell. So many new things are on the market now that are really cool that weren't around a couple of years ago. So I wanted to take a look at um, what grip technologies out there that can help you make your movie um, in the time that you have with the money you have um, faster, cheaper, easier and better. First thing I wanted to look at was this thing that I call the clown arm because you can see on the side of it, it has this amazing clown face. Uh, it essentially goes on top of a C stand and gives you seven, eight, nine feet in some cases um, of extension so that you can get lights up really high or really far from where the C stand is. It's sort of like the Avenger arm. Um, or there's a, there's a bunch more on the market. It costs thousands and thousands of dollars. This one is like a hundred bucks and change. Um, and it's really powerful where you see here, I'm combining it with um, this large LED mat and using the arm to get up, out and over um, talent where you can shoot 360 and still not really see um, the stand. Scenes where you wanna move the camera around, scenes where you wanna do strong overhead lighting or even staging two actors either side of this light so they both get a cool, um, cool front light and you can do long takes without having to reset between um, turning around. So if you come from a film industry background and you only use C-stands, large and small, you might not know that um, there are a whole range of these really awesome lighting stands that are light, that are self-balanced, both large and small, you can pick up with one hand. You don't really need to sandbag because they're not that uneven. I have this these great um, RGB color Yongnyo lights that screw right on top of these uh, small light stands. And I always have a couple of them standing by when I'm shooting a commercial because it always helps to, to bring in a three quarter kicker or bring in an extra hair light. And they're battery powered. You don't need to be like running, dragging cables around. Um, you can just sort of put them and place them down where you need them. If you want a bigger option, you can go with a four foot quasar tube and I use the bongo ties to attach them to the same kind of stand. And again, you just get this beautiful four foot dimmable source of hard light that you can bring in as a scratch, you can bring in as a three quarter back, um, you can bring in as an eye light if you want it, um, give a cool kind of cat's eye through the middle of the um, person's face. Um, but again, it's just so, so much easier than, you know, bringing in a tungsten source and diffusing it through a second sort of things and dimming it down and running power. Like this just lets you move so much faster as a film crew. I have this great little uh, 10 inch, very powerful battery powered um, LED called the Cello. Uh, it's much more powerful than the Yongnyo lights. Um, it is more expensive, uh, but I put it on this sort of small stand and I just use it to add washes of color um, to the room behind or the room next door um, and really, you know, paint with color. Um, and again, totally self-contained, battery powered. You can just move this thing around. This is something that I um, uh, picked up a while ago called the, uh, the uh, CC125 adjustable gaffer clamp. You have to really do your um, grip training to be able to open this thing. Like a normal um, sort of quacker, uh, it has these cool rubberized teeth um, that let it get a really good grip. And it's also um, adjustable so that once you open it, you can adjust the, the bite with this second dial. Um, I use it for shooting in confined spaces. I'm able to throw this on top of a door and then use the, um, the two potential mount points uh, to put up lights. It'll even hold the weight of uh, Kino Freestyle 20 if you take the ballast off. But I like using it with um, larger lighter lights um, like my Lightmat 2L or um, this IntelliTech LC120 essentially gives you a roof of lighting without having to actually drill into the roof if you're shooting on location or you don't wanna um, mess with things. If you watch this channel, you probably know that I'm a huge fan of the Magic Arm or the Friction Arm. Um, they're about, they're only about this long, but uh, I'm using one right now to hold up my um, light. Uh, I realized recently that there is 
the next level of these things, they can only get so long before um, the friction starts to make them fall over. Um, but there's this thing called the double articulated arm uh, made by impact, which uh, sort of is as long as a real arm. Um, and they get around the friction by having sort of like two, two bones um, going all the way through, like the radius and the ulnar in your own arm. And it works absolutely amazingly. It can do things that the friction arm can't, uh, like mitigate its distance, like slide in and out. I'm using it for the uh, microphone on this stand right now. Um, and I'm also using it for uh, extending the clown arm um, to get lights into really weird and hard to get places. It actually has a huge capacity. Um, it holds a lot and it stays there. It kind of like locks in. Um, I hope that you know, we see more of these smaller and bigger ones because it's a really cool technology. Uh, my last creation is this thing that I called the Angle Bounce. It's a Lupo Super Panel uh, one by one on a short C stand, um, this kind of mini C stand that uh, Impact sells. Uh, and then I rig it up as a bounce to a big um, two by four or four by four ultra bounce um, from, well, it's, I say ultra bounce, but I really just mean a, a stippled um, reflector that you can get from Home Depot for 10 bucks. And this works uh, great as a way of creating a large soft source um, that is all on one stand. I don't have to create a light source on one stand and then a diffusion on a second stand. I can basically keep it all on one thing. So they're my uh, new rules of grip, I like to call them. Um, they're just some fun stuff that I've discovered as I've been shooting projects that uh, certainly you won't find in the, um, the union manual for grip. I'm sure people have come up with them before, but I really love working like this. It's like the grip and lighting and camera is all like a great big playset for me. And I love inventing new ways to create light and diffuse light and um, you know basically get more out of less. Thanks very much for watching guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, subscribe if you want more of these videos. Uh, really appreciate you watching. I will see you next time.